This is Luther Kruger from the Big Blue Sun Museum of Solar Cooking, based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I have the great pleasure of uh, visiting online with Milan Kulkarni in, in India, uh, the inventor of the sun dish, which we proudly display outside uh, my wife's office window here uh, in Minneapolis. And uh, she often, she just told me yesterday, she uh, cooks a rhubarb uh, cake in there mostly because that's her, one of her favorite dishes. Very good. Yes. Very good. Very good. I like it. <laughs> and I have you occasion. send me some photographs. Oh, yes, we'll do that. Uh, and I have done uh, the, the Tiffin pot with the three dishes, you know, rice, beans, vegetables. Uh, I still haven't figured out the, the right combination for the stuff that cooks fastest goes on top and then the slowest on the bottom. Correct. Correct. Uh, Correct. Uh, I have designed like this because uh, as, far as, uh, as far as Indian food is concerned or any food is concerned, Sure. Uh, for example, cooking cooking uh, leafy vegetable requires less heat. Sure. And uh, cooking rice and something like this, it requires uh, more heat. Yes. Very so good. it will be on the top and uh, less heat. Uh, uh, for example, boiling eggs, mm -hmm. you need less heat. So you yes. can put it down. Great. That's a, a good tip for everyone that's going to pick one up. Um, usual questions that I have, one of the, the first ones I always ask uh, are, how did you first discover solar energy and solar cooking in particular? Was it in the, in like grade school, high school, college? Uh, when did you discover solar energy? Uh, you can, uh, you will not believe actually. I, uh, I was having very, very big interest in solar energy. Okay, so what I, I used to do is, uh, in, in, I was in just a, a four or five standard, four or five standard. Uh, I was having one lens. My father was having one lens, big lens. Okay, and we used to uh, take our friends together and uh, we used to go in the sun. And we put uh, this, this lens like this on their hand. And when it is very hot, Sure. When there is a hot, oh my God, my God, my, my friends are <laughs> <laughs> shouting like this. So sure. from that actual point, I found that no, I should, I got interest. First point of getting interest into the solar energy was this. I thought that sol solar energy has so big power. Mm -hmm. Why we are not using it? Why we are not using it? So from that point, that point, I used to create so many, many experiments, small experiments using solar energy. For example, one more experiment I used to do is I used to uh, I used to keep mirror outside my home. My home was like this: that from mirror, the reflection is coming into my home. Sure. If I put some mirror outside my uh, door of my uh, home, then that reflection is coming into my. So I used to do is that I used to control this reflection by putting my door, my board door like this. And like this and like this. And after that, I used to put some, I was having some films, few films, this movie films. Sure. Some part of, not, not complete role, but some part. So I, I have prepared something like this, that this, I, uh, I can hold this uh, part uh, on the, uh, on that particular sheet and after holding that I used to put big uh, big uh, lens and I used to see this uh, movie actual movie on the wall of my home oh my wow so and I used to I used to yes I used to call I used to call all my friends and gather together and having fun and uh, looking this kind of movies with the solar energy. Like this, I got so big interest in solar energy. So sure. I thought that I should do, I, it's a very cheap, very free energy available in the, on the earth. We should, we should try, we should experiment more and more and more. Sure. So by this way, this, this, this goes on happening, happening, happening. So many things with the solar energy, solar cooker. There was a 
box type solar cooker available in Indian market. Only one one reflector and cooking inside and one reflector like this. Okay. So uh, during my education, we have project on last year. Last year we used to get we used to take project. So uh, my uh, actually my uh, my teacher was asking my professor was asking me what project you are going to do. So I I told him that I will do multiple reflector solar cooker. Okay. And I have this photograph of that multiple, uh, multiple reflector uh, solar cooker is still with me. Sure. Yes. So actually that was one cooker. And after that one reflector, second reflector, third reflector, three reflectors. Okay. And all together, all this heat was gathering, used to gather in this cooker and uh, the food used to uh, get very fast ready. Yep. Okay. So like this interest in solar energy begins. And uh, when my professor was asking me that uh, what you are going to do, I, I said, I uh, this is my fix. Whether you allow or you will not allow, I am going to this, I am going to this, uh, make this solar cooker, this innovative solar cooker by which food can be uh, made faster than this particular solar cooker. So I uh, made this solar cooker, project was excellent and everything. And even after that, even if I do something for my career, for my earning, I will do something in solar energy. I will not do anything else because this is my interest and I will do this only, sure. nothing else. So, so uh, after my uh, graduation, after my graduation uh, and project with this solar energy, uh, solar cooker, I was trying to, in those days, solar energy was very new, very, very new. Now, uh, means you can say around uh, 83, 1983 or something. Mm -hmm. Nobody, normal people also, they were not allowed, they are not uh, uh, informed that uh, with the solar energy, electricity can be generated, food can be cooked. They were not allowed. Uh, they were not aware of this. So uh, after final, after my graduation, I started uh, looking, thinking opportunities in solar energy. What can I do? What can I do? And all that. So I said, I I thought I will start with the water heater, solar water heaters. So uh, uh, I started uh, installation of this solar water heaters many many places. Last so many years, I made so many installations. It was my bread and butter actually. Uh, I'm 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 not a born with a golden spoon or silver spoon. Okay, so <laughs> so I need to do. I need to earn, and I I need to earn, and with this money, I need to uh, uh, experiment. Uh, whatever experiment I wanted to do, I need to uh, do with this money. So uh, such things are happening so many times. Then. Uh, uh, with this solar cooker, so many people came to me and uh, they they were asking me that this solar cooker, this conventional solar cooker, box type solar cooker, uh, which uh, uh, na and uh, which is having many many disadvantages. For example, people are staying in uh, multi-story buildings. People are staying in multi-story. They don't have enough space to uh, enough space to put uh, this solar cooker somewhere and not uh, not much solar energy was available uh, no no separate terrace nothing like this so i was thinking that how this multi storied uh, residents can use this solar cooker so that they don't need to go on upstairs they don't need to perform all these difficult things and uh, it must be quite user friendly. And I have also mentioned on many uh, solar uh, platforms uh, on the website on the internet that solar cooking, it is very good that it is hobby, but we should use it for day to day cooking. That's 
this is the way to save energy to keep our earth green instead of using electricity instead of using gas uh, we should use it for day to day cooking and this is this was in my mind while i uh, invented uh, sandish because uh, sandish in sandish yo it is everything is so easy so easy you just put the utensils inside it you forget it that's all early in the morning put it at 12 o'clock when uh, at the time of your lunch food is ready now what uh, what inspired you to come up with that cone shape that that uh it's i mean it's a uh, it's so ingeniously simple yes uh, uh when i started thinking that how i will uh make a solar cooker for multi storied building which has very li limited very less hassles while you, while using it very less hassles okay so it should be very simple to use and when i was thinking that flat reflector flat reflector would require always tracking right. but i have designed uh, this particular cone shape it is not an actually cone shape you can say it is a seashell 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 shape oh okay yes, that. it is yes. yes it is not a cone and uh when i started thinking on it that how i can design how can design so that we don't need much uh tracking because i wanted to avoid tracking because uh i want to make it as simple as simple that uh, one should not uh, need to keep any attention on this solar cooker okay so so the shape what i have i have designed like this that any position for example for cooking in sandish we require 3 hours or 4 hours whatever or 2 hours sometimes 2 hours okay so during the period of 3 hours for example if the sun is moving from this position to this position all sun rays must be concentrated on the utensil keeping this point in my mind i have designed this particular shape and uh, i have designed this shape after many many physical trials also many trials uh, by by keeping the shape the angle angle of the reflector or angle of the cone for example this is a this is a ground level and this is a cooker so this this angle this angle this angle this angle this angle which is suitable after so many trials after so many uh, observations after so many temperature observations i have completed this and this sandish cooker is tested in university of pune there is a there is a department of uh, uh, solar energy in 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 the university of pune and uh, they have tested sandish and they have their regular official data about the sandish temperature and everything and this data we have taken it in the month of november december when there is a most the temperature is quite less lowest temperature so this is the reason why i designed this shape and after so many trials so many uh, experiments i have come to conclusion that this shape must be like this a country like india we have very very big potential for solar cooking solar cooking but but moreover the industry is more concentrated on solar pv pv power moreover they are concentrated on generation of electricity but i think uh, customer and this market haven't recognized the importance of solar cooking and they they must uh, i think i i am not satisfied with solar cooking market in india mm. it must be more it must be more and more and so for the sandish itself uh that's that's one of other, many uh products that you uh, work with or is it uh, your main uh, focus to uh, sell and distribute the sandish 
actually uh, you try let me tell you i am a i am a product inventor i invent a product i have nine patents in india my core interest is to invent invent something new something new sure. once for example if i invent any particular product <coughs> and i reach up to the successful working prototype successful port, working model then the next part is manufacturing it in on large scale and selling it that is not my interest because you see uh, uh, i am inventor and every day doing same thing same thing same thing it is not my interest <laughs> so i invent something else after that something else after that something else after that something else something like this sure okay so uh, i am actually uh, by your medium let i wanted to uh, uh, wanted to tell you uh, tell you or the industry that i am interested in selling my product uh, product design my patent patent rights and this design Uh, to the manufacturing companies mm -hmm. so if anyone interested any company is interested then this design is really really wonderful in 2020 of course i was able to attend the consul food conference in portugal and they had me convene a discussion about promoting solar cooking in one's own community because i do that very locally here in minneapolis and uh one of the first things that came up was uh, there were two or three fellows from madrid spain who said well we live in an apartment building so we can't solar cook and i was able to point out here look up the sun dish because and i was glad to hear from you just now that that's that was one reason that you uh, came up with that uh, the, uh and here we have some 10 20 40 story buildings with 500 or 1000 people and and I was able to tell them don't freeze them out they're able to solar cook and here's why with the sun dish so uh I was glad to be able to share that at the conference uh, this opened up a whole uh whole vantage point for them so that was great what message would you bring to the individual to say how you would promote solar cooking anywhere whether it's uh coming up with maybe a new design or just figuring out ways to reach out to neighbors what's your best advice uh, for people on the world network people should understand that this is a quite free energy it is a basically green energy we should avoid using polluted fuels whenever you are using electricity you are making very big pollution whenever you are using some gas you are then at that time also you are you, you are making very big pollution so using solar energy it must be uh, must be first uh, first priority while as far as cooking is concerned okay so now uh, there are so many difficulties there are it is not so convenient at this moment there are difficulties to to uh, to cook on solar energy so uh, we need to think on it there are so many uh, uh, so many possibilities for example this sun dish sun dish is a very good idea for cooking uh, on in multi storied building this is number 1 number 2 uh, if somebody uh, don't want to go uh, outside window or something like this they can put pv panels pv panels and with the electricity without using any batteries without using any batteries with the electricity of course this kind of a system has very very less efficiency because uh, this power itself this uh, pv panel itself has efficiency at only 15 to 20% okay so by using this way efficiency we will get it will be less but still but still we should try this way that we can if uh, by this direct current which is coming from the pv panel we should run some microwave oven or something like this that we can put so that the ultimately we will use solar energy for our day to day cooking sir sure. in fact I'll, uh, later today uh, i'll be chatting with a, a fellow who's 
uh, come up with uh, PV to uh, battery to uh, cooker system. And uh, I'd never heard of this before. I think he calls it lead carbon battery. It's uh, different than lead acid or a... Or a, a they never, no, no. Battery should not come into picture. Because if we are putting battery into the picture, we are again making more pollution. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it is it is very good idea. Though the efficiency is less, it is very good idea to put panels and to run some uh, microwave oven, microwave oven or heating oven, which has uh, designed, which is designed uh, to cook the food on over the period means uh, less uh, low temperature cooking. You can say means for cooking we should use. We should use only 100, 120, 120 degrees Celsius so that so that you will require very less panel, comparatively less panel. Okay. So putting a 500 watt panel on the roof, it is not at all difficult. And with this panel, we can get the direct current, DC, DC power. And with this DC power, we can run one microwave oven small microwave small microwave oven we will as as like this that we will load this food cooking utensil at six o'clock seven or eight o'clock in the morning and with the slow temperature with the lower temperature it will get cooked by the lunch time at 12 12 or 12 or one o'clock so it this is also a very good idea i agree uh the the batteries remind me of plastic whereas I'm, I'm, uh, we see way too much plastic in the world. And if we can make cookers without, uh, with as little plastic or none as possible, uh, we aren't contributing to that draw from the petroleum from the ground, likewise with the batteries. Well, I can't think of any, any other questions. Uh, this has been fascinating. Uh, uh, I, I really appreciate it. I didn't know this about the, the shape being inspired from a, from a seashell, from the, you know, that's, uh, that's, and that makes sense because often what do we do? We return to nature that already has the shapes we need, the designs we need. Um, exactly. So, yeah, exactly. so that, yeah. Nature, 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 I would like to mention it's uh, mentioned at this moment because when you mention uh, we need to learn from nature. I, I want to, uh, I want to mention something about this point. Uh, I, as I told you, I have nine inventions and nine, nine patents here in India. One patent is granted and this patent is about a completely different thing. It is not at all about any solar energy. Uh, there is a fruit called, in India, there is a fruit called custard apple. Have you seen custard apple? Uh, yes. In fact, I think I saw a reference where, uh, about your work on that. But uh, go, yeah, yes, go ahead and describe you. this. Yes. So this is a custard apple. There are so many seeds inside this. And uh, each seed has some uh, white color petals. Okay. But this custard apple is really, really very, very tasty and full of calcium, natural calcium. It's very tasty, very sweet. And people really like it. But eating custard apple, it's a really, really very laborious job. Every time you have to take it, Take this seed away and you have to sure. Sure. Uh, uh, spit some, uh, this, uh, uh, this seed. And it's really very bad looking and very, <laughs> very bad looking. Sure. So there are so many farmers came to me and they told me that, look, yeah, we need you now at this moment. We want to process this custard apple. And for processing, we need to remove the seed of this custard apple. So how we want machine for this. So uh, do something for this. So I was thinking how I can make the machine and all that. I was just thinking. And one farmer came with a very big basket of custard apple. And he said that, look, take this basket and study whatever you want and make whatever you want, but do something. It is impossible for us to, and it is, it is very big amount available in uh, India, this custard apple. Mm -hmm. And this goes naturally. This comes naturally. No, it doesn't require any attention. It comes naturally. 
organic, completely organic. So I was thinking, and this basket was every day uh, four, five, six custard apples. So big custard apples were ready, re ripen. And unless and until I don't eat, the next day I need to throw it away. So I used to take all this basket, come into the corner, and I have to take each and each by scooping, eating and throwing, eating and throwing, eating and spitting, eating and spitting this seed outside. So I was thinking how I, I will make the machine of this. So I was, as I told you, nature is the biggest master, biggest teacher. I was, I tried to eat this uh, custard apple very consciously and I was studying the movement of our lip, teeth and lips, lips, teeth and tongue. How, how the movement happen in our mouth when we take this seed away from this custard apple. The same movement I put in my machine and the machine got successful. Very good. Wow. That yeah, and that's just the beginning. Uh, I mean, if more more people would would look to what's already out there in the designs of nature, oh, we we could make such progress. Uh, that's beautiful. Uh, your acre is a like I say, it's a the most prominent feature on our house. It's the only one attached to our house. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it's every time I have my brunches, I'm able to point up there and say, you know, hey, we got something cooking in there. We'll bring it down when it's ready. So I want to I want to ask you uh, how you will rate sun dish in all these solar cookers. Okay. <laughs> as far as the and as far as the as far as the uh, user friendliness is concerned, user friendliness is concerned, and mm -hmm. the cooking and overall, give sure. me a honest answer. I I don't. Uh, uh, I'm okay with this. You can tell me your opinion. Well, each each cooker, of course, uh, has its place. And uh, as far as for apartment dwellers, condominium dwellers, high-rise buildings, even I would expect office towers uh, ought to be able to consider using it because that's its that's its main strength. Is that it's uh, you know you can just hang it out the hang it out the balcony, hang it out the window. Uh, as far it's uh, it's it does it does what you intended it to do. Uh, two or three hours of cooking, everyone that gets a panel cooker pretty much expects that. Uh, some panel cookers even take longer. I think it's uh, it's very effective. Uh, yours uh, is not at all vulnerable to wind. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's bolted on really nice, and I like that it's uh, you can move it and it stays there. It's got the kind of the break with the bolt. Um, I mean, I, I uh, recommend to people if they are in a high rise or if they say they're in a house like our neighbors where they only get sun in their top floor, because our our house blocks them, <laughs> and uh, so and but they have a backyard where they can put other cookers. But if they want to stay inside, that's the ticket. That's the thing to do is to put the sun dish uh, right outside the window. Um, very convenient, uh, very easy to use. I mean, user friendliness. There's what is there to it? Lift the lid, put your tiffin in, and you're done. I mean, it's it's as easy as uh, uh, easier than a regular stove. I mean, you're in a stove inside your house and you got to bend over, and, uh, you know, uh, and you, tr you, you forget the door open, you trip on the door. I mean, <laughs> so no, it's, it's very easy. No, I, I, uh, I mean, I like it. I wish we could use it more often, but the sun doesn't necessarily hit it in December because of our neighbor's house. Uh, but through mo a lot of the rest of the year, the sun does hit it because it's up on the second floor. I'm up on our third floor, so it's just a little below us uh, here. So, yeah, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll be brutally honest with you. I wouldn't be talking to you if I didn't think it was a good cooker. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and as I say, I, I, I think the sun dish has opened up. Uh, we, we have a, a public housing complex in Minneapolis in, in our neighborhood, 500 uh, units and three buildings on just a half a city block, about 20 stories tall. And it's set up so the windows of five of the eight apartments on each floor 
uh, can get uh, at least two or three hours of sun each day. So literally, you know, over half of the people in the building could li- could hang it out their window. I don't know if they allow them to open the windows <laughs> because, you know, some buildings are built where, you know, they have the air conditioning and heating through the whole building. And basically, sun dish is designed for low temperature cooking so that we can get good taste of the food. Yes. When it is cooking very slowly, gradually, then you get very good taste out of it. Yes. It was very nice to have a talk with you and uh, I admire I admire your love for solar cooking and uh, experimentation and collection of solar cooker. Probably you have the biggest collection in the world of solar cooker, what I think. Well, and uh, I tell people it's a, it's a mania, you know, it may not be yeah. healthy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Same thing like same thing like me. Yes. Uh, invention, invention, and creation. New something new is is here. Yes. So I cannot live. I cannot live without invention. I need to. There every day something. Some food must be there here. Sure. So that I can invent something. Uh, too often you hear of kids getting out of high school and going into college and then they discover science. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's, it's, uh, so that's a wonderful thing. And you've really tapped into that uh, and made a fine cooker with, with your, with your creativity and looking to nature the whole nine yards. So, yeah. At this moment, I remember one thing is that you have mentioned it that you can tell in our interview, you can tell uh, what uh, things, uh, you have done till today in solar energy, some inventions, new things, and what is your future plan or something like this? Okay. Sure. So uh, I have one more patent in solar energy, which is gravity battery. Gravity battery. I am uh, I am uh, working on a pro- working successful prototype of this gravity battery using solar energy, so that. Uh, no battery, nothing will require. It is like this. During the, during the daytime, with the solar power, we drive a motor. With this motor, we take a big weight up up in the sky. Okay. And at the time of night, when the power is required, we allow this weight to come gradually to down. And with this power, we generate electricity. Okay. Well, that's, that sounds like I've heard of uh, uh, some countries and there's, uh, I think there's one place in the United States where they're pumping water uphill to a reservoir and then, and then sending it down at night. So they use the excess energy uh, put out during the day with solar or wind and then using the, the hydraulic, the hydropower uh, to generate yes, the night. Yeah. <coughs> Interesting. Correct. Yeah. But yes, this idea is also very good, but it requires very big place, yes. very big area to store the water. Yes, yes. And you just have the counter weight. It's just, it's vertical. So it's, yeah, yes. not taking up much space. Wow. Very interesting. Yeah. Yes. On that note, one more piece of creativity. Great to hear. Well, I'll let you get back to your life. Thanks so much again. I really appreciate that. This has been, I've learned, everyone I do, I learn a lot and I learned even more uh, than average <laughs> in talking to you. So this has been uh, uh, really a great experience. Thanks so much. 